Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to my video. I am Mickey B. Have we met? If not, it's nice to meet you, and if we have, you know it's always good to see you again. I'm here with Timu Hall number 37. I've emptied out, I have two orders that I want to share with you today. I've got the first bag emptied out because I find that I work quicker, faster if I just have everything laid out on my desk. So I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to say really quickly that Timu is an online marketplace. They have lots of sellers who sell lots of products. They have lightning deals. They have products for under a dollar. They have daily deals. They have products under five dollars. They have a huge variety of things. And if you're looking for anything, just check Timu first. Make sure they don't have it for cheaper and then go out and buy it somewhere else if you can't find it there. Nine times out of ten, you're going to find it there. Without further ado, let me show you some of the things that I found today. And we're going to start with this little box. Let's see what's in here. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is so cute. Look at this. It's a cute little hat. And this hat lifts up like this. And you could put a ring in there if you wanted to give somebody a gift has a little slot in the middle where you can put a ring in there see if it'll show up there you go isn't that cute I have no body to give a ring to but I just it's so cute and this is what the bottom looks like it's a nice velvet a uh, brown velvet uh, material and just be careful if you order something like this when you open it open it gently because when I opened it up when I first got it I pulled it back too far and it almost ripped off the top so just be very gentle with it but I thought this was so cute and they had it in different colors but this was less than a dollar and I saw it and I passed it up a few times and I'm like you know what I just I can't every time I saw it I'm like it's so cute I just have to get it so that is the cutest little thing and let me just give you a close-up with the little band all around like that and you can kind of get an idea of what the material looks like kind of like that velvet okay so I got that <clears throat> just because it was cute this next item I got this is a cute little bracelet that um, again it's just something that caught my eye because it was hearts and it had these hearts on either end like that with a little hole in it and then it just pops on your wrist like that and you can wear it either this way or you can turn it this way and bend the hearts close together and wear it like that if you know me you know I like hearts silver and pink and crosses so this is I like how this is either way either or I think I would probably wear this more with the hearts on the bottom actually but if it did happen to turn around it's no big deal because it's also a design that way so I'll just go ahead and leave that on all right, this next item I got is this key holder. And what it does is it makes your keys more organized. So you screw, like, you see how this has like a slot? You will unscrew this and this will pop out and this lifts up and then you put your uh, house keys in here. And see how these black things they kind of they're like spacers so you would put a key in between each one until you have as many keys as it will hold and then your keys will be more organized so they'll fit kind of like a, a pocket knife kind of turns it into like a pocket knife so when you need a key then you just slide one out and you don't have all those keys that just get stuck together like sometimes they get stuck in the hole and you gotta finagle it out like I've had that happen several times so I feel like this is something that will help prevent that and it also uh, makes it fit easily in your pocket or in your purse and then it has this notch right here if you wanted to hook it on to something as well so I'm hoping this is going to work as good as they say it's gonna work because I could definitely use it this item here is when you want to hang stuff and I've seen this was another thing that I kept uh, passing by but what it is it's 
I drop something in every video. I just, oh, well, all right, I'm not going to keep saying it. But what it is, it's double-sided tape. So if you need to stick something somewhere, you're going to peel. I'm guessing both sides of this peel off. Let me just test it with a little piece right here. That's what it looked like to me. It's like a really strong double-sided tape. Like that one comes off there, that side. Let's see if I can get the other side off. Let me see how sticky it feels, if it feels really sticky. I'm pretty sure this other one comes off. I'm not going to hold it up too long, but... And it's a strong sticky, so let me see if I can do it on this and the other side. Just to confirm for you. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm pretty sure, though, it has to work that way or else it's not any good. It is double-sided. I know it is. I remember when I ordered it because I that was part of the reason why if I needed to hang something, it's not going to damage the wall. It's not going to put a hole in the wall, and it should be able to peel off. Um, whenever you want to take down whatever you use to hang it up with. Did that make sense? Then you can, it makes it easier to take down whatever you hung up using these. That still sounded wrong, but I think you get the gist of what I'm trying to say. Alright, these next items. I saw uh, April from Menopause and Madness haul these, and I had seen them before several times kind of consider them but I'm like I don't know if I'd really use them um but she hauled them and when she hauled these and opened them up I'm like those things are huge and they actually look like a weapon and what they are these claws so if you want to shred meat don't these look like um wolverine from uh x-men with these big old claws like, you could really hurt somebody with these. I feel like a grizzly bear right now. Look at those claws. That's, that's what they look like, grizzly bear claws. But I'm like, they must work really well. And these points are kind of sharp. They kind of hurt. So if you need to tear apart some hot meat or like turkey, shred some chicken or beef or steak, whatever it is, I think you're going to get a good result with these. And again, they're huge. When she pulled them out, I was like, oh my goodness, I think I want some of those. If nothing else, you can keep these in your car. If you're coming in at night, you need a weapon, you need to hurt somebody, you know, you can use these for that. So yeah, a dual purpose. But I had to get some, and um, I haven't used them yet. I don't know exactly what I will use them for, but I know I've had instances in the kitchen where I had to pull something apart and it was hot. Oh, I know. I'm telling you, I know right off the bat. When I'm making um, cornbread dressing and I've got to crumb up my cornbread and I take it out of the oven and it's really hot, but you need to crumble, crumble, crumble it up, then those would be perfect for that. So that's something I can think of off the riff. All right, this next item is this. I got this for my gardening boots when I go outside. Hold on, let me open it up real quick. I always have to remember that noise of the paper. But I got these for my gardening boots when I'm gardening outside and I come in and I uh, put my boots inside by the patio door. It's this little case or what would you call this a case? Not a case, but a cover I got this cover to put my boots in so and I'll tell you why when I uh, put my boots inside the house I'll either put them by the front door the patio door or inside the service porch until I use them again and I always have a thing where I always shake them out before I put them back on because I want to make sure nothing's crawled up in there. So that's why I got these because this is a nice cover or case. It zips up. It has a little handle and it's my boots are about this tall. I don't ha I have a tall pair as well as a short pair. The ones for the garden and outside are about this tall. I already tried them in here so I know that they fit and if I remember I will insert the picture but um, it's perfect for that so if you are like me and you have some boots or gardening shoes that you so if you're like me and you have some 
gardening boots that you use outside or you know ones that you use for water when you're watering down your driveway or anything like that something in my eye um, and you want to keep and you bring them in the house it's also waterproof so you won't get your house wet it won't get muddy and it will prevent little critters from crawling in there so the next time you pull them out to use them um, you don't have to worry about that so I really when I saw this I'm like oh this is perfect because I don't know if everybody thinks about things like that but I am definitely one I do not want to pull out anything where I feel like something could come crawling out of it it's never happened but it's always in the back of my mind so now with this and it just zips open if I didn't show you with this I don't have to worry about it I know when I pull them out I'm good to go let me see if I can give you a realistic width. See, they open pretty wide. They, it opens pretty wide. So yeah, that's what that is. And then, the next item, let me fold this back up so that I can make a little room to pull these other items out for you. Alright, this item right here... <clears throat> I got two of these actually I got four in total but these two I bought them from two different sellers oh let me open it up again okay these are those Bach I don't know how do you say it I always say baklava baklava lorette or whatever they call these hats that you put on they cover your head and then you can cover your nose right here once you have it over your head this covers your nose and mouth area to help keep you warm I wear these at night because again I catch colds very easily and if I go to the gym and I work out and I come out and it's cold outside I need to be bundled up so I use these a lot and because um, you know they get dirty I don't want to have just the same one that I'm wearing over and over especially like when I had that cold and one that I had I was wearing it over and over and I didn't want to re uh, get myself sick so there's two colors there's a black one and then there's a dark gray now when I ordered these the pictures looked the same I'm like that's not black I mean that's not gray they both looked black to me but every time I clicked on it it said black and it said dark gray but I couldn't tell from the picture the dark gray just looked black so I'm here to show you that it definitely is dark gray it definitely is two colors and I can totally see it right now and when I open them up so if you come across this and you think that the dark gray is just black it's not it definitely is a dark gray I think these were like a dollar and fifty cents or a dollar and seventy cents is a great deal so I'm like this is definitely a stock up deal I do want to say though they have a chemical smell to them right now so I've got to wash these before I try to wear them um, and then I got two more I got a pink one and I got well a light pink and then a hot pink so let me open these up real quick okay so I've got those opened now these two were a different seller and as you can see they look a little different I believe these two were it might have just been this one that was a different seller I can't remember now actually but this pink one right here is thicker it's a thicker material it feels thicker not that much but a little thicker and so does this one compared to these two right here let me feel it again because every time I do this I'm like no they feel the same no these pink ones definitely feel a little thicker and then they're they feel like shape wise they look a little different as well so I, I I'm glad sometimes when I buy multiples of these things so you can kind of see that there are differences sometimes in these even though they're the same thing they are made differently um, the mechanisms work the same as far as how they work on all of them they're all attached here which is and all this adjusts is this part around your face it doesn't adjust this now as I say that yeah that's right it only pulls this part down see 
but even though the the cord does go through here it doesn't adjust this part though it only pulls down the part around your face so be aware of that because there are other ones that oh wait a minute now it's a you know what I wonder if one side adjusts that part and one side adjusts the top oh, I think that's how it works this side adjusts the top and then this side adjusts that well look at that I tell you you learn something every day but these all have to be washed first and like I said I wear these at night because I keep it cold at night so I can sleep comfortably because when I have my heater on it gets too hot and but when I turn it off it gets cold but I sleep better in the cold as long as I'm bundled up so now I have five of these in total the one that I already had from back in the day of this style so and then I have a couple of other styles that I'll show you hopefully I'll get to those in this haul as well but this is stuff that I have to stay warm and bundled up so if you're like me then you know this was a great deal stock up this is the time to stock up on things you know like this that keep you warm and I am anemic so it is very important for me to have stuff like this okay and then the last little thing in this order is another item for the cold so let me open this one up isn't this cute now this is probably really for a little girl or something I don't know that I would actually wear this outside in public but I will certainly wear this in my house to stay warm again if you saw me <laughs> at night getting ready for bed you would just shake your head like you look ridiculous but I literally have to bundle up to stay warm because um, I just I've always all my life I'm always cold I always wear socks oh, the little pfft, fuzzy wuzzies are blowing around but I always wear socks um, to keep my feet warm I just have always been cold and I've always been anemic my mother was anemic anemic my sisters I think both of my sisters were anemic and I am anemic and my doctor has always checked had run tests to see if there was some deficiency or something going on um, and she could never find anything but yeah look at the cute little uh, ears on this how they're they look like little ears and then you got the fur like that so this one as you can see though I feel like I'm getting all fuzzy wuzzy fuzzies over on me yeah you can see though it kind of sheds a little bit isn't that cute now this one costs more I think than the other ones by maybe a buck or so but it's so soft and warm and fuzzy so I would definitely wear this around the house and you know if somebody popped up at my house unexpected and I need to throw something on my head this would be perfect and I forgot to show you look at the inside look at how soft that looks it's not just a look it really is soft oh my gosh this is so soft and it feels good so I'm sure minus all of this stuff flying around this is going to be fun to wear okay that was my first order let's do a quick recap and I'm gonna make it really fast I got these nice little claws to separate and shred meat or to hurt an attacker <laughs> and then I got this keychain or this key organizer where it turns your keys into like a pocket knife something that's going to be really handy to have you saw me just uh, show you this cute fuzzy wuzzy little hat to wear to keep your head warm we got this double sided tape that came in this nice little carrying case and I forgot I know I know I'll have it on the screen but you get quite a few pieces in here as well I don't know if I mentioned that before and then how can I not forget to share with you this cute little ring uh, case if you want to present someone with a ring in a very unique and cute manner you can get this little deal right here close that up that was so cute I know they had one in blue I think those may have been the only two colors um, and then I got these four baklava or however you pronounce these hats um, I got four of these I got the dark gray the hot pink the light pink and then the black these were a great price a great stock up price 
it is very cold here now well for me I know people who are not in LA or California probably think I'm sounding ridiculous but I'm freezing so I need stuff like that and then the last item was this shoe cover or this case to put in your boots um, and for me my garden boots that I use outside to keep my feet wet or when I'm washing down the driveway so that was this first order now let's hop into the second one and keep this going all right we're ready to move on with order number two and the last order of the day here is the envelope everything's emptied out so let's go ahead and jump in there's only about 11 more items so i'm not going to be here too long first item i'm going to start with is this cute little i think they call it a foundation holder but you can put whatever you want in here really I didn't get it because you know I don't wear makeup like that but what it is <clears throat> what it is is this cute little pencil you see it's see-through and the top screws off like that and it's got like the little dovetail applicator and you can put it in here whatever you want you can put perfume in here if you wanted to you can if you had a lip gloss or something anything that you could fit in here that this applicator would allow you to use and put it on or whatever you're going to do with it they say foundation so i can see why if you had like a liquid foundation but again i saw something totally different i just saw a container that could be used literally for whatever you wanted to use it for and I don't know oh this came in there so it looks like this fits here maybe it's got a hole in the middle of it but this doesn't go down in it so I'm not sure I don't want to break anything and I'm not sure what this is but it has a hole in it and then it looks like that and it was inside the bag so I'll have to figure out what that what this is it it seems like it should just stick in there like that and maybe this is supposed to go down in there maybe to kind of keep it from leaking or something but if that's not what it is then off the cuff I don't know but this is such a cute little container they had another one that was in the shape of like a pill like a a capsule pill and um and then they had the pencil i thought the pencil one was really cute i'm just trying to figure out though what this might be for if it doesn't go that way and it doesn't go this way oh there you go it's got to be like that that's what my brain is telling me yeah there you go and it screws on of course it doesn't screw on oh yeah it does there you go that's got to be it nothing else makes sense to me except for now that goes off let's see that has to be yeah that's it that's it common sense I mean I, I shouldn't have to read any instructions for that but yeah I thought this was so cute and again being able to put anything you want in here if you don't wear foundation like I don't but I definitely will find a use for this so I thought that was very cute the next item I have is this this is a ages 15 years plus so it's a ring it looks like what size is it? a size 10 so I must have ordered this to wear on my thumb so let's open this up and see what it looks like I haven't ordered any jewelry lately so oh it's got I don't know if I can show this because they're so I can barely see it myself hold on hey damn. see what it is before I try to show you guys oh it's these cute little hearts that's so funny everything is hearts tonight and I had this one on already and then the heart ring see that's a little crooked then my heart ring that I'm wearing and then this is tiny little hearts and they just go around like that and it doesn't go all the way around it's about that much around but yeah you can see how tiny they are which is why I could hardly see them if I get this camera to cooperate let me see let me put it on my finger 
So yeah, I got it to wear on my thumb like that. That's an awkward position. Let me see if it'll fit my right thumb. Maybe I could hold it close. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this camera because this really is a good camera. It's a Logitech. And it really, you know, shows good quality. But it's just, I guess it's this, the fact that I can't keep my hand still steady. But that shouldn't matter. It should grab it. There you go. See that? Aren't those cute? And see how tiny they are? Wow, they're really tiny though. I didn't think they would be this tiny. So let me, um, now I could also do it on this finger as well. This is kind of the finger I would like to wear these on also. So when I have some nails on, I'm letting my, my nails are still on hiatus, but I like it when I have one on my thumb, but I like them thin, but with some nails on. They look much better, obviously, but yeah, I like it. I don't remember how much I paid, but I'm sure it's on the screen, and I'm sure it was a good deal. So let's see what else I have here. This is a, well, this is actually a ring. I think this ring was probably something like 50 or 60 cents. This says a size 9. So that's what this size of this one is. And this one looks like... Now, this isn't normally something that I would buy. Definitely not. But for the price, it's going to grab it in a minute. Just be patient. This camera likes to show me up and make me look bad. Actually, I always have better luck on this side. So let's try that. Get it right up in there. Well, I tried to grab it. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Now you see that little bubble? That's called reactions and if you do stuff like if you do a heart then it's supposed to put a heart. See that? And if you do two thumbs it'll do fireworks and if you do this it'll do thumbs down. And that is not what I was doing but you see how it grabbed it? You can turn those off. I have to remember I forgot that that's a feature that comes on every time you record so if you're experiencing something like that it is a way to turn it off if you go to the Apple website and search reactions on how to turn them off then it'll tell you but let me do this because I'm there okay so it's great I wanted to get close though so you can see that there you go more of the detail it's a pretty ring it's something that I def definitely wouldn't normally buy but for the price, why not? You guys, there we go. You guys know my line. I pay more for ice cream. See, I just can't keep my arms steady enough. Let me do this. Because I really, you know, it's all about the detail. If you can't see it, what's the point, right? That's why I got the camera in the first place. So you can see the detail of things. There we go. See, I can't be steady long enough. I don't know why, but you can see it. You see it? You see it? See all the detail? Cute. All right. Finally. So now let's see. Let me see. I got this in a size 9. So I know it could fit this finger, but I don't really wear rings on this finger. Back in the day, I used to wear rings on this finger all the time. I moved it to my rings to this finger, and this is the size 8 finger. So let's just see real quick what that looks like. It's a little big on this finger, but it, I like it though. I don't really wear a lot of blue, but it's good to have, you know, um, options in your costume jewelry selection. Even though I'm more silver and just white, you know, rhinestone or gold and white rhinestone. Actually, I'm wearing my red one today that I got from Timu because I have on red and black and red earrings so I figured this will be a great day to wear this one but um yeah this blue one this was a good deal sorry I took so long on this one but I really want you to see the detail or else I'm not satisfied and I'm still trying to figure out if there is a trick to getting this stuff to show right away I'm just playing around with it right now maybe I'm trying to do it too close too I don't know but here's the the red one and that's a nice one this one was a great deal when I got this one as well but I've taken way too long on this ring let's move on to the next item so 
so that would be this one I got for my bathroom I got this for my bathroom and that's this pack of 10 pieces in here and what it is is for the, the drain in your bathtub in your bathroom or your shower and I'm trying to find I see the opening here so it's a pack of 10 and they're really thin they're like disposable drain or hair catchers if you will they are adhesive they have adhesive on the back so you peel off this white part and you just you know flatten it over your drain let me see if all of it comes off or if those squares remain let me see something because I think the adhesive is where the white is which would make sense so it would get a good uh, latch on I think it's adhesive it feels like it's adhesive maybe it's not oh yeah it is I think yeah it is okay I'm ripping it so it is adhesive okay and it's very strong look at that Ooh. all right so you would take this off the white off and then you would put this on top of your drain in your bathtub and it would catch you see how small the holes are it will catch all those little hair pieces and prevent them from going down your drain so that way you don't run into clogged up drains from hair and other debris that um, is too big to be going down your um, your drain in your bathroom so these will probably last a little while that adhesive is really strong so I'm looking forward to seeing how long this would last how many showers I could get out of this but what I really liked about it is how it's just flat so you know how your drains are have the hole like that this is just going to be flat right on the top of it so I like that aspect so nothing's going down and it's wide enough to really give you good coverage to cover up the whole hole of the drain so yeah I am happy with this I hope they're going to work as good as I think they are um, because I feel like that was a great purchase this item here it says XXL and what this is is a let me open it up okay so what this is something stuck in my fingernail real quick you know they're under they're in rehab so I gotta be careful with my fingernails so this shows to be just like a waist trainer and it's a real thin one it doesn't have any of the um what do you call those things like the bones to really make it sturdy and strong and supportive but I got this when I'm for when I'm going to the gym or just sitting at my desk and I just want my posture to have a little support this looks pretty small for extra large let me see something because <laughs> it's got to have some stretch to it let's see oh yeah okay oh yeah that should fit but it is pretty tight so I guess that's a good thing that it will give me some support sometimes you know um, when you're working out your back like well not you but when I'm working out my back sometimes just needs a little bit more support if I'm bending down or doing something I just want to have something in place to just help keep my posture correct so that I don't injure myself and that my back is not aching at the end of my workout now you can see closely it's the it's it kind of feels like a big piece of elastic like a just a thick piece of elastic you see on the inside kind of just looks like elastic but it has a little design on the front of it and then it has three different um, adjustments that you can make so as you get smaller you can make it smaller or as you get bigger you can open it up and keep it big but I plan to get smaller of course um, but yeah these are just uh, great to have just for the support I don't like when if like if I'm washing dishes or standing up too long I would have something like this on just to keep me from slouching because it really does provide some support now I have some real waist trainers that have those 
the bone things like those pieces of metal along the side and they're very very supportive but they're also thick and a little a lot more bulkier than something like this and something like this I could wear to the gym underneath my clothes and no one would even know that I'm wearing it so that's why I like this version that's why I got it anyways and I'm hoping that's why I'm gonna like it um let's see here this next item right here is something I have been wanting to find something to help chop my nuts now I did a review video on that vegetable chopper where you pull the string out it's like a manual chopper and it has like five little blades in there and it worked amazing on onions and tomatoes and I used it for lettuce it just was amazing for the lettuce but when I put my nuts in there it didn't work very well and I was disappointed because I thought for sure that that was going to be a shoe in so I was still on the hunt for um, something to really chop up my nuts when I say nuts I mean walnuts and almonds when I'm cooking or baking more so um, I need um, <clears throat> I need something to chop up my walnuts and my uh, my almonds those are the two main nuts that I've used pecan in the past as well but the main two are my almonds and walnuts so I saw this and I searched around elsewhere you know check prices to make sure that I'm getting the better deal over here and of course I got the better deal over here as I always do so far I'm you know batting a hundred but the they had a little video that showed this actually in action and it showed the nuts in there and how it was grinding them up so it's also manual and it just as you can see here's the mechanism and you just turn it and it's a nice firm little turn it doesn't feel too loose actually let me take the top off it just the bottom twists off like that that's where the chopped nuts will fall into and you just stick it on there and you just slide it into the slot and the same thing with the top this is how you get the nuts in here on the top but so you can see See how as you turn it that thing just it's really strong enough to really chop those because almonds are a hard nut walnuts not so much but almonds are really a hard nut and they need something strong and the blades of that little vegetable chopper thing just wasn't cutting it it just didn't do anything so I'm really hopeful that this one is the answer to my nut chopping woes and then I'm gonna finally get the result that I've been looking for so yeah so I will definitely do a review on this and let everyone know how this works for me so that way if you're considering something like this then you can determine whether or not this might work for you as well but like I said I'm really optimistic that this is this is it I think I can stop on that one now this is a repeat purchase these uh, continuous spray water bottles I really like the one that I got oh hold on okay trying to remember the noise of the paper I really like the one that I got um, already and it's the same one like this and this is the larger size and I love how once you get it pumping and going the water shh, it just a nice mist and when I'm moisturizing my hair that is so perfect because on the old school bottles which I thought I was buying another one look at how big this is in comparison so I was like ooh that's a big one I'm gonna get that one but this one looks different to me this hold on let me open this up okay look at the difference in size this one was advertised to do the same as this one but I'm not sure I feel like this is the what I don't like unless there's something different in this top but I know the one that I have before it uh, has this white thing that goes down like that I don't see that in this one I just see the traditional little clear tube but the lid is what threw me off making me believe it's going to work like this that's what I'm not sure about and they also look different up underneath 
So unless there's something in this one, this one was advertised to do the same thing as this one. But they look different. I don't know if it's because this one is so much bigger, but I'm going to have to test it out. I know I'm going to like this one. And the reason I got this bigger one is because, you know, when you're moisturizing your hair. See, this doesn't even feel. You know, when you're moisturizing your hair and you do it on a regular basis, you want just, well, for me, I would just want a larger uh, container so that I could make sure that I don't have to keep filling it up and refilling it up that it'll last. So I'm, I'm optimistic that this is going to work the way they advertise, but it, because if you look underneath, it looks kind of fancy. It looks different. It doesn't look like your typical one from this angle. But I'm hoping, again, that it is a continuous spray bottle um, in the same manner that this one is. I know this one will work, and I want to keep one in both bathrooms. So I'll test that out as well, because I am curious to find out. Or else I'm going to send that one back. Because this is the kind that I know that I like and I know that I want. But yeah, I got these two. <laughs> and the price, they were great prices. I've checked in on other sites. I know these are the better deals. And then I got more cozy little hats. Alright, so let me open these up. Because I don't want you to hear all that okay you guys these are the last items that I got and I just I don't know these were such great deals I had to get more I had to so I already bought this one these little bear hats I just think they're so cute and fun and I bought one I bought the I think it's called khaki I think it's called khaki this color I believe is called beige and then they had one in white and if I'm not mistaken these were a dollar and 32 cents I think I think it'll be on the screen though but they're so soft and warm and fuzzy oh my goodness if you felt this you would understand so I bought the um, khaki one and I've worn it and it's warm the only thing that's different, and this is what the nose part, it has this uh, little lining in front of this one. And the, this was much softer than the other ones that I hauled earlier. So it's so inviting. It's just so warm and cozy. And like I say, I'm always cold. And these will definitely keep me cold. I don't know if I would <laughs> wear this coming from the gym. People will probably think I'm ridiculous. But um, I definitely will wear this at home. But I got two of these because I got one for Jenea because I know she was feeling left out on the other one so I'm like well I don't want to get another one and then rub that one in her face so I got one to share with her and again I think they were only a dollar and 32 cents whatever the price was I know it was a great price and then so that was the beige color I already had the khaki and then here's the one that they had in white now I think this one wasn't on sale I think this one might might have cost a little more but I wanted to go ahead and get it anyways and this is what the face looks like on the white one and this one is a little different it looks a little bit more it's like a shorter a shorter what's the word I'm looking for a shorter grade of fur see this one and this one is soft but not like this one you can see the difference between the two which is interesting to me because you wouldn't know that when you order that these are all from the same seller but you see it's a whole different uh, length of fur here there's another word I'm looking for but I can't think of it right now but this one is a longer soft this feels just like cotton like a cloud like on a cloud it's so soft and inviting and then this one is soft but it's a thicker what's the word I'm looking for it's right on the it wants to come but then it runs away from me when it gets close to what I'm trying when I'm trying to grab it but um yeah that's the difference between the two and these like I say the reason I got two of these I know they had to be something like a buck 32 so that's why I said let me go ahead and get one for Jenea but I'm like 
may as well go ahead and get the white one too so that's what they look like and now I have I'm going to be warm all the time when I go to sleep at night I don't have to worry about because uh, when I sleep at night and when I say I'm cold I get cold when I'm breathing in the cold air I could be in my wearable hoodie socks and all that but if I'm breathing in the cold air then I'm still cold and I can still catch a cold so that's why I like the ones that have this part and I keep it over my nose when I'm really cold and then when I'm heat it up a little bit I can just keep it right underneath so that when I'm breathing it in I'm still breathing in a warm air so that's why I like these and that's why I got so many of them and trust and believe I will definitely be wearing all of them but around the house though I'm not going to be out in public with these little kitty looking hoodies on but at home best believe I will be wearing them all and um, hopefully Janae is going to be excited about the one that I gave her and if she doesn't want it, I'll just keep it for myself because, like I say, I wear this stuff. I look ridiculous and I don't have a problem with it when I'm trying to stay warm. It's important that I don't get sick. So let's recap this order really quick. Um, since we have these, we got these cute little bear face hats. Uh, two beige and one white. We've got these a uh, continuous spray bottle for sure I know this one is this one is supposed to be I'm gonna test it out and make sure that that is correct and then I got this uh, this is called a dried fruit machine it's interesting that they call it a dry is, is a nut considered a fruit possibly but you see the nuts Ooh, that fur stuff you see the nuts on the box so dried fruit or dried nuts I think this is definitely going to work for me and finally give me the result that I've been looking for. I got this um, this light waist trainer. I got it in an extra extra large. So I'm hoping that's going to be uh, enough support for me when I go to the gym and when I'm working out just to kind of keep my posture right and to prevent me from slumping too much uh, and support my back. And then I got these uh, drain covers that are adhesive on the back. There's 10 in a package and they are pretty much disposable, but I think you can get more than one use out of it depending on how much hair, you know, goes down your shower. I got this cute little ring with the hearts. We're not going to go through this again, but you saw what it looked like. This thing wants you to get right on it. There we go. So I got that cute little ring and then I got this blue ring <coughs> then I got this blue ring which let me just see if I can just show it through here okay and then lastly was this foundation holder container or lip gloss container. This is so cute. I really like this. And I didn't realize this was clear like this. And I think possibly when I saw it on the website it might have had something in there already. But I thought it looked like a pencil already like that yellow in the pencil. But it might have had foundation in it just to kind of demonstrate it. For what they're selling it for but I really like the fact that it's clear like this I don't know what I'm gonna use it for yet but I really like that it's very cute and it's a good size so that's all let me just make sure that I did not miss a thing because I am good for turning off the camera and forgetting to show something and I am not going to do that tonight and that's always because I've always been rushing when I try to do the hauls for some reason I just always rush to myself and I don't get why all right I said I had 11 items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven all right we're good so thanks so much for watching uh, if you guys are interested in any of these items, the links to all of these items 
will that are in this video will be included in the description box as well as in the first pinned comment Timu is an online marketplace they have lots of sellers that sell all of these things you can find more than one seller to purchase these items from but I again I will have the links to the specific ones that I purchased in um, the description box and in the first pinned comment I have a discount code if you guys purchase any of these items please use my code to purchase them with and it is OPT43129 you'll get 30% off of your order if you are a first time buyer um, and then they'll also offer you a $100 coupon bundle to use on top of that so you see the prices they're already low save 30% off of that and then use the coupon bundle on top of that you can save yourself a great deal of money on some great items so with that being said um, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything oh thumbs up the video if you like this content I'm on the road to 17,000 subscribers and if you like my content and you want to see more please subscribe everybody is welcome and I'd love to have you so on that note, you guys take care. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.